Welcome to today's tutorial. This one is of Christian Pulisic and it's a manipulation rain effect um, with quite a few things going on. Okay, we've got the uh, the background, the crowd. Okay, I've put some artificial lights in here that they're not uh, actually built in the stadium. We've got some mud. Okay, we've got some splashing and then we've got the rain. Um, real simple to follow along. Okay, aim this um, uh, just your average Photoshop user, okay. But if you if you're new to it, okay, just simply follow along. Uh, follow on YouTube. Press K to pause. J will jump you back, and L will will jump you forward. Uh, yeah. So without further ado, I'm going to get onto it. So I'm going to press Command N. I'm working on a Mac, so I'll press Command N. New document, and I'm using resolution of 1280 width, 2272 height. A portrait orientation, okay, RGB color, 8 bit, and backgrounds white, and I click create. And I'm just going to unlock that layer there. Okay, so um, just in case you're wondering, this is the size of uh, lock screens for iPhones, that's why I've, I've gone with that one. So, first thing I'm going to do is uh, I've got my uh, files here, link them down below. I'm going to put in the crowd, so I'm going to drag and drop. Okay, go down to the bottom corner. Hold down shift and alt and let it go in proportion. And I'm going to go like that. Press command zero, it uh, scales it to the screen. And yeah, I think that's, that's pretty good. Nudge it up a little bit. And just using the arrow keys just to nudge it across. Yeah, great. So command zero, zoom it right in. And this layer here. I can get rid of. Okay, one thing I'm going to do uh, while I'm here, I'm going to convert this to a smart object. Okay, so we're working non-destructively, and I'm going to go to, to the top to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and about 4.5. Just going to blur out uh, the the, uh, the background, about the crowd. So when uh, Christian Pulisic He's in the front, he's, he's, uh, he's more of a focus, okay? I'm going to select this white box here, okay? Hit D on my keypad. D or X, okay? So I've got the black, so uh, now working as a uh, as a layer mask, okay? Hit the B for the brush tool, okay? Get soft tip brush. And I'm going to bring the opacity down to 80%. I'm just going to paint across the grass. Just like that, just to bring the grass into a bit more focus. And if I uh, hold down Alt on the keyboard and select it, you can see uh, where we've actually uh, masked. So I'm happy with that. So I've got the crowd, and now I'm going to bring in the mud. Okay, so I've got this uh, this image here. Some players. Okay, I've linked it all down below. And I'm going to zoom in a bit. Shift and Alt just to grow it out a bit. And what we're going to do is just going to get rid of the tough edges. Press V for selection tool. Okay, I'm going to select the layer mask down here. Make sure this uh, white box selected. Hit the B. Make sure you've got that soft tip brush. Okay, and I'm using a tablet. Um, I'm just going to paint away some of the mud. I'm going to bring the flow down. As well, to eighty, and I'm going to paint all this up here. All this can go. Use the bracket keys. Oh, there we go. Make sure we get rid of these boots. Looking better, and it's blending quite well. There's no uh, no straight lines. It's quite wiggly, so I'm happy with that. Okay, again, I press hold down all and select that, and then you can see um, where it is missing bits. Should paint it out. That's this point here now. Up to two hundred percent. 
just to make sure, but it won't really matter. Anyway, uh, click that, okay. So hit the V on your keypad, just nudge it around. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press Command T to select it. Okay, double click and I'm gonna do perspective. I'm just gonna play around with this a second. There we go. So that drags the perspective out a little bit. And just while I'm here, I'm gonna make sure this is selected again. I'm gonna make sure it's white over here so it, it's pinging it back. Hit the B for the blue. And just a couple of little bits. It's looking good. I'm happy. Um, I'm happy with that. Okay, now uh, press Command Zero, bring it back out. I'm going to uh, include some stadium lights now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. So this little button down here. Okay, I'm going to make sure I've got white selected here. Hit the B, hit the brush tool. Okay, and just out of habit, I like to name it so reflectors. Okay, soft tip brush, and I'm just going to click on flows at 80%, that's okay. I'm just going to paint on some lights. I want them nice and spaced out too. Three, four, five. Okay, so they're not um, they're not bang even. Um, in fact, I'm going to do that again, just make sure. One, two, three, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. One, two. Oh, my battery's low. Apologies. There we go. Okay, three. Four. Okay, so that's, uh, that's looking good for now. So I'm going to double click on here. So I'm going to get the uh, layer style out. And I'm going to go down to Outer Glow. Okay, I uh, want the opacity. Make sure it's set to screen. Opacity at 90%. If I just move this out here, you'll, you'll see what's going on. Okay, so drop the opacity down. Um, I want it at about 90%. Uh, noise, that's okay. Why our glow spread two percent, and you see the size, see what the difference it makes. So, 250, what would I like? 240, 230. We'll go with uh, we'll go with 240. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, just put these in a group just to keep it tidy. So, Command G. And background. Okay, so now we want a new adjustment layer. So, we're going to go down uh, to the bottom and click brightness and contrast. Okay, so brightness, we want to be dropping down to 150. Bring it right down and the contrast to 70. Okay, and we're going to make sure this little white box is selected. Hit the uh, brush tool, we're, uh, we're already selected over here using shortcut. Now we've got the D, and we're just going to paint some lights underneath. So Got it on a hundred percent fat eighty and if you see that effect it's making there with the stadium light and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower the size I'm gonna paint across the mud I'm gonna go for sixty. 
working out quite well. Okay, and you can just play around with it to your heart's content. So you got it right. I'm just gonna just underneath the just so it looks like it shadows like underneath the lights. If, uh, if that makes sense. And go back to black. There we go. Uh, command zero. Okay, so uh, we're going to add a little bit more glow now. So we're going to create a new layer. And we're going to name it glow. Uh, let me change this to linear dodge. Add. And hit the brush tool. I want the opacity about 20%. We're going to bring this opacity down to 70% as well. Okay, and with white selected, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint in a little bit more glow. In fact, we'll just do one layer of white and we'll go for a light yellow. So just raise it up slightly, something around there. So we've got F8C56B there. F8C56B, a little bit bigger. I'm just going to paint it across. Just a bit of a yellow glow, so you can see the difference we've created so far in the steps. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm happy with what we've got so far. Okay, uh, now to bring in. Uh, Christian, so I'm going to drop him in. <clears throat> it's just taking a second. There we go. Don't know what's going on there. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just size him up a little bit. Now, to cut him out, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the pen tool. You can use the uh, select a mask uh, feature. Uh, I used it before, but I my preferred method is the pen tool, so I'm going to hit P, and I'm just going to paint around him. So what I'll do now is I will speed the video up, and I will speak to you in a second. Okay, so job done. A uh, little bit of a problem with my uh, tablet then, but never mind. Okay, so uh, once you've joined them all up, you know what you're doing. So click selection. Okay, feather radius zero pixels, uh, and new selection. Okay, and hit OK. Command zero, bring it out. Okay, command J. So we're going to uh, create a new layer off that. Okay, and with this layer here, we can just throw it in the bin. Um, going to name it Pulisic. Okay, Command T, and I'm just going to scale him up. So he's, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's looking good. And just got a bit in there to do. 
I was missing something. Let's quickly scoot around this bit. I'm just going to delete that. Command D to unselect. Command zip will come up. Okay. Um, okay, he's got quite a, quite a clean cut round his hair, so I'm happy with that. And just round here, just so it beds him in, I'm going to create a layer mask. Hit B. And that's far too big. Bring it down to a nice small size. And the opacity up to 50%, see how we get on. I just like to click around and just break out that prominent line so it does it, it does look like his foot is buried in the mud. And once we add the shadow, it'll just add a little bit more realism. Just like breaks it up. There's no straight lines in nature, as I like to say so. Yeah, that's better. So, disable the layer mask. Come from a straight line to that. So, it's blended in there a little bit better. And I'm going to throw in a shadow as well. So, I'm going to press Command, Command J and call it Shadow. And make sure this lower layer selection and go to Image, Adjustments, uh, Hue and Saturation. And with the lightness, bring it right down minus 100. Okay, so now we've got uh, this blacked out uh, silhouette underneath. So again, make sure that's uh, selected. Press Command T. Okay, and I'm just going to do this click distort, right click. I'm just going to bring it down. And because the lights are over at this angle, I didn't do it in the other one. I'll put the, uh, put the shadow around there and just line it up with this shoe. Hit V for the move tool and be using the arrows. Okay, and I'm going to make sure this is on soft light. I'm going to drop the opacity down to 45%. Yeah, and I'm going to go to filter. Whoop, make sure it's selected first. Filter, Gaussian blur because we've using it before. And it'll put it automatically to 4.5. Okay, if you didn't want to do that, just go back. Blur, Gaussian blur. Yeah, you can uh, you can change it to five. So just makes a nice, a nice subtle difference. Okay, and so we're going to add some shading uh, to Polisic as well now. So we're going to create a new layer down here. So click N. Okay, and we're going to create a clipping mask. So I'm going to hold Alt down, hover between the two layers, and click it. Okay, or you can just right click. And there it's a uh, create clipping mask rather than release clipping mask. Press D on the keypad, brush, soft brush tool. Okay, and I want my opacity up at 100%. I want the flow, yeah, about 9%. Zoom in a little bit, okay. I'm just going to start. Maybe it's a little bit too much. Five percent, yeah, five percent. Okay, so I'm just going to paint some shadow on there. Okay, with this now you can uh, really afford to take your time with it. Okay, get deep in those shadows because press command zero, come out. You see where the lights are um, coming down from coming down from this direction here. Okay, so bear that in mind as you. Oh, painting on some shadow, and I'm going to do it down to three percent. And especially down around the foot where it's going to be dark. Okay, it just adds a bit more mood. Okay, keep changing the brackets. And what I'll do is I will now 
throw some on quickly and get back to you. Okay, so it's looking okay. Okay, it could be better, but uh, just for the purposes of this uh, for this video, I'm just uh, speeding it up. Okay, and what you can do as well, you can create another layer. Okay, hold down Alt and make sure it's white over here. And we've got the flow right down. Just paint on some white. I think it's too strong. What I'll do is I'll put it on one percent. A little bit of paint on his knees and round his arms and his hands. Okay, and you can see there, we've made a good difference. And at this point, uh, I'm going to bring in the ball as well. Okay, so uh, just with with this ball here, <laughs> it's uh, the Russian World Cup ball. Okay, it's from. Uh, Use it in another tutorial, but um, what I'll do is I'll link a Bundesliga ball in, just so it's uh, or a Champions League ball, just so it looks a bit um, looks a bit better. So I'm going to position the ball, and like I did before, I'm just going to name it ball. I'm going to create a layer mask. I'm going to zoom in. Okay, so it's not going to be perfect. The flow. Throw it right up there. I'm just going to eat away at some of this. Okay. It's just so it looks like it's stuck in the mud a little bit. Because I'm going to give it a rain effect. And I'm going to create a new layer. I'm just going to use just a single layer for this. So, flow. Two percent. Paint some light on top. I'm going to hit X and swap it over down here, and I paint some shadow on. Down below, so press Command Zero. You can see how we've uh, gave it a three D look. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit more off. There we go. And just underneath here, I'm going to create a new layer. So it's underneath the ball. Come on, Z. I'm going to make sure it's on soft light before I do anything. <laughs> Just going to paint some shadow on. There we go. And bring the opacity down to. Yeah, about 74. So let's have a look. Yep, yeah, it's looking good. So just in that uh, instance there, okay, so we've. Uh, We've included the ball, okay, we've give it um, a bit of a 3D texture look, okay, we've put a shadow underneath it, uh, we've added some highlights to Pulisic and some shadow, and we've actually put a shadow on as well and we've blurred it out. So, we're uh, looking quite good. And we're ready for the brushes. Okay, so uh, what I've done is uh, down below I've inserted um, a link to a brush. Okay, just download it. Okay, uh, what we're going to do here, we're just going to create a new layer. 
and we're going to call it splash. Here we go, and go to the brush tool. Now, go over to uh, your brush presets and stuff. If you can't see in there, if you go to window, they will be uh, they'll be here, and you can uh, have them selected uh, and put on your your toolbar. Okay, so. Uh, yep, yeah, so the one I'm going to choose is the uh, 5, 521, okay, uh, once you've installed it. And I'm going to go to brush. Okay, and we're going to go to shape dynamics. We're going to make sure the size jitter is at about 50%. Angle jitter is 50%. Check scattering. Oh, yeah, there you go. And put the scatter 100%. Apologies about that, I was just reading my notes. Yeah, 107. Uh, and we'll click both axes as well, make sure that's uh, make sure that's selected. Okay, and come off there. Now what we're going to do is zoom in. Okay, make sure you've got white selected here. I'm just going to, no, apologies. I'm just going to paint some splashes on. Now you can do this to your heart's content. <laughs> um, if you notice in the uh, in the other one, I didn't I didn't do loads. Okay, but. Again, you can just play around with it, see what you like. Okay, paint some off the front. Paint some across his knees, his legs, okay. Splattering up. And you can do is as well for the mud, you can sample the color of the mud. So just uh, double click here, bring the, the uh, color picker up for the foreground, okay. Give you a brown color. And paint some mud on. And if you notice how every time I click it, the brushes changing um, angle and size, that's because we've changed the uh, the jitter, I'm going to make that a little bit darker just paint some over there uh, but you get the picture so I like it just got a little, a little feature and you can just uh, click it around as well down the bottom Just to give it more of an effect. Yeah, great. So we're uh, we're looking good. So now I'm going to press uh, Command Shift Alt E just to give it a screenshot, and we're going to put the uh, the rain effect in. So, okay, new layer, we're going to fill it with black. So, we've got black here in the color plexus. So I'm going to press Command and Backspace. I'm going to go to Filter. I'm going to go down here to Pixelate and then to Mesotint. We're going to check. Short lines, there we go. I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to go up to Filter. We're going to go to Blur and Motion Blur. Right. And make sure the distance is set to 50 and the angle is at zero. Happy with that? Okay, so uh, we're going to press Command T, and we're going to scale and rotate. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to hold Shift so it grows in proportion. I'm just going to turn it round. Uh, shift up here. 
shift and alt just so it's covering and zero brings it out there we go okay you can uh, that's where you uh you set it okay and then we're going to go to uh here and i'm going to try screen yep screen there we go come on zero okay so it's uh obviously it's a heavy downpour there so if you want to change that go down to the bottom and we're going to click on levels and this little one here in fact There we go. Make sure it's a clipping mask and you can affect the density of the rain. So I'm happy with about 15. Yeah, sorry, apologies about that. Um, okay, so what we've done there is uh, we've filled the layer with black and gone to filter and we've pixelated it. We've done short lines, we've blurred them, and then we've gone to levels and we've adjusted the uh, tempo tempo of it tempo of the rain so yeah it's looking uh, it's looking very good there so I'm uh, pretty happy with that yeah uh, do find a little adjustment so we'll go to brightness and contrast we'll set the brightness to minus 10 we'll put the contrast at about 35 And there you go. That's that's pretty much pretty much it. If you would like to add a little extra feature, okay, you can uh, create a new layer. Uh, and we're going to add a lens flare. So we'll go to render and check lens flare. Oh, apologies. Get rid of that. We'll do do soon. Command Shift Alt E. A screenshot, go to filter, render, lens flare, and you can choose what type of lens flare you want, but I'm going to go with a 50, just put it over one of the lights, go with that one, yeah, there we go, there we go, so now we've got this, uh, this lens flare effect. And another little feature that you could do as well if you were interested, okay, so you've still got your brush uh, selected, okay, increase the size, make sure you've got the brown selected, and what we're going to do is going to give it like a mud splash on the screen, so press X, and in fact we're going to make it a little bit darker. Down the bottom. So, yeah, there we go. So we've got these uh, press phases, we've got these splashes here, okay. But because it would be out of focus, we're just going to go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur, and set it about 5%. And there we go. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that, okay. Turned out better than the other one, I think. Um, yeah, with the other one, uh, I put a photo filter on it, but uh, I wasn't really keen on it. But again, with this one, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty chuffed. Uh, if you've got any questions, okay, put them in the comments below. Okay, I'll link all the images. Uh, sorry for drowning on. Um, if you're bored of my voice already, but yeah, thank you. Really appreciate a like, a share, and a subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thanks a lot.